Increase the efficacy of your copper spray in the fight against bacterial blight with Antero EA. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine and at the annual winter hazelnut meeting of the Nut Grower Society back at Oregon State University, uh, Becky McCluskey had a great display of some of the most recent varieties of hazelnuts that the breeding program has come up with over recent years and wanted to share that with you today. This is the list of the hazelnut cultivars that we have released. Everything from Yamhill on has been resistant to eastern filbert blight and carries the gasaway gene. Jefferson was released in 2009. It's probably been the most widely adapted hazelnut in the industry. It's a larger in-shell variety that was de developed to replace Barcelona. It's resistant to eastern filbert blight. Um, what we have Next after that was Doris in 2012, which also, when you compare kernels to Jefferson, the kernels are only slightly smaller. Doris is here on the right. It fits the in-shell and the kernel market. It's a smaller, more compact tree, but the nuts mature about the same time as Jefferson. And I like this one a lot for its flavor. And then released in 2013 was a variety called Webster, named in honor of Jan Webster, industry supporter and longtime grower in the Willamette Valley. It's a vigorous tree. It's an insha or it's a kernel variety, but it's a very large, vigorous tree, comparable in size to Barcelona. So it hopefully will have a wide ad ad adaptation to different soil types around the valley. And it is fully compatible to be planted with McDonald, which has premium flavor. These two are fully cross compatible, so we often recommend that people plant 50-50 orange. And again, McDonald can be an in shell or kernel variety. Has premium quality, about 52% kernel, and a really good flavor. York, who was part of the original Lewis and Clark expedition, was the black slave they took along. This is a pollinizer variety that was released at the same time as Webster and it is compatible with most of these varieties and uh, it's also recommended to be planted with Webster, McDonald, and Doris and it also has good flavor. It was released as a pollinizer simply because the production was not high enough to make the grade for a main variety in the orchard. We have Yamhill that was released back in 2008 and has been probably the second most widely planted variety. It's smaller in shell or kernel. Very little fiber, even though it does not blanch as well as the others, it has very little fiber on the kernels. It's a very small, compact tree, but very productive. And then Sacagawea. This does not, this is our only variety we've released for Oregon that does not have Gasaway gene, so it only has a partial resistance. As you can see, it produces beautiful kernels. Um, but we don't recommend planting that in areas where there's a lot of disease pressure because it will get the eastern filbert blight. It's been used as a parent in a lot of the material that is out in our field right now being tested in the advanced selections. All of these have been used already in parents in the breeding program and their offspring are being evaluated now. We're excited that these have been widely accepted and are being widely planted. The industry is wonderful in their acceptance of what we're presenting to them. Thank you, Becky. We're excited for all the new uh, blight-resistant hazelnut varieties that have become available to the industry and look forward to more in the future. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, PacificNutProducer.com.